Next step is to smell. No, it's not. It's to swirl. So we swirl. And tonight, you're going to have to swirl really aggressively, wines five through eight, but wines one through four, you really don't need to do that much. Why? We, we swirl to aerate. These are white wines, typically white wines. You don't really need to aerate because there's really no tannin to speak of. So then we'll smell. And don't do the flyby. I call it the flyby. When you have the wine, you just sort of run it by your nose. Tilt your head. Get that nose all the way in there couple smells, you really get a sense of what the wine's going to taste like. What it smells like often is what it tastes like. And this is really fresh. It's a young cava. It's bright. It's a little citrus. A little, um, mm, a little touch of melon. It's just very, very, very fresh and young. Now, when you taste, please swirl it around in your mouth, almost like a little bit of a mouthwash or a gargle. And then, of course, swallow. By moving that wine around in your mouth, and you may want to try it a couple ways. Try, just try it your next sip. Just put it in your mouth and then swallow it. I guarantee you, by doing that, you're just you're covering all parts of your mouth, all parts of your tongue. Your tongue has different taste zones. And by doing that, you're really going to taste more and experience more of the wine. So don't cheat yourself. Oftentimes, you'll, you'll take a sip and you just swallow it. You don't have to be obnoxious about it uh, or gargle or make funny noises, but just move it around a little bit. You'll, I think you'll notice a difference, and you'll, you'll enjoy the, the, uh, the wine a little bit more. And then step five is the savor, the finish. It's, you know, I call it the memory. It's your memory of the wine. It's what you're paying for. Is it light in body? Is it medium in body? Is it full bodied? Is it short finish, long finish? Um, High in acid, a lot of fruit, a lot of tannin. Is it balanced?